Hello, and thank you for taking the time to view this web briefing. My name is Dan Lyons, and I'll be talking about Hurricane Newton and its potential impacts across southern Arizona today through Thursday. Because conditions can change quickly, this briefing is valid until 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time Wednesday. Hurricane Newton is quickly moving through the Gulf of California and is expected to make landfall near Hermosillo, Mexico later tonight. As it continues to move northward, it will weaken substantially, but not before bringing abundant moisture to the region. Given the potential for heavy rainfall, flash flood watches are in effect for a number of counties across the desert southwest, including all of southeastern Arizona and the Tucson metro area. Showers and storms will likely develop late this afternoon and will become more widespread late tonight into Wednesday morning, and the potential for flash flooding will increase. At the same time, winds will increase across the area, with sustained winds in the 25 to 35 mile per hour range expected during the day Wednesday. Even higher winds are expected near the international border. All of this will result in potentially hazardous conditions across the area. Here is a look at the storm total rainfall forecast from this afternoon through Thursday. We're expecting rainfall amounts generally in the 1 to 3 inch range across the lower desert locales, with higher amounts up to 4 plus inches in the higher elevations, especially across far southern Arizona. Please note, however, the exact location of the heaviest rainfall is extremely difficult to forecast when dealing with tropical systems in areas of very complex terrain. Some spots may see very little rainfall, while others may see extremely high amounts. However, everyone has the potential to see heavy rainfall and flooding, and it's best to be prepared. As I mentioned before, we are also expecting gusty winds to develop across the area on Wednesday, and we have issued a wind advisory for portions of Pima, Santa Cruz, and Cochise counties. This advisory includes the Tucson metro area. Winds will be even stronger near the international border near Nogales, and a high wind watch has been issued for those locations. Winds are forecast to reach their peak late Wednesday morning into Wednesday afternoon, with sustained winds between 25 to 35 miles per hour. The strongest gusts during this event will be along the border and on the ridgetops of southern Arizona, where winds could exceed 50 miles an hour. Let's take a few moments and talk forecast confidence. As mentioned before, forecasting the exact details of a landfalling tropical system in the desert southwest is extremely difficult. However, we do have high confidence in the heavy rain and flash flooding threat. Most of southern Arizona has the potential to see heavy rain. Pinning down the exact locations of the heavy rainfall is a bit more of a challenge. However, if you live in a normally flood-prone area, you should be on the alert for hazardous conditions over the next few days. As for winds, we are very confident in strong, sustained winds across the area, generally from Tucson eastward to the New Mexico state line. And at the same time, even stronger winds are forecast near the international border. There are also the potential for blowing dust due to these winds, although if rain arrives soon enough, that may mitigate the dust threat. The most important thing you can do is stay informed and stay safe ahead of and during this event. Take the proper precautions now and have a plan in place before the storm hits. As always, you can find the most up-to-date forecast information on our website, weather.gov Tucson. We will also be posting frequent updates on our Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube pages as the event unfolds. Thank you for your time.